Manitoba. I actually won a legitimate Nassau County endorsement, a legitimate vote that was contested in what could be argued was an illegitimate way. So here we are. Uh, this is really what I expected out of the Libertarian Party, but this is what we got. In regards to why I, I continue, why I'm here, um, just concerned that there's not a proper vetting process for my opponent here. I'm concerned that there's not really a track record here. I'm concerned that somebody might just be studying and regurgitating rhetoric, perhaps even coach. There are there have been allegations that uh, somebody had coached Stephen LeBate when he was considered for this position. I'm a street smart New Yorker. I'm a book smart New Yorker. It takes a lot to get one over on me. Dealing with the candidate that supposedly collected 1,100, 1,300, the number changed, the public and signatures, and just had a religious experience and decided not to send them in. I would say that there should be some concern that this may happen again. And there's also an email thread suggesting that signatures of other candidates should be submitted to this candidate who has a history of not sending in signatures. I find that concerning. In regards to myself, if anybody wants to do due diligence, I have a track record. I'm not a ghost. I stood for libertarian principles. Of course, there's been some disagreements. This is the Libertarian Party. They say if you get 20 libertarians in a room, 400 groups are formed. <laughs> you can all understand that. In closing, I'd like to read a, a quote by George Orwell. And, and this is something that I think we should all be able to understand and, and look to be on guard for. Because what we're dealing with is, is, um, is a massive challenge that um, most candidates can't even perceive uh, if their hearts are even in it. And, uh, what he said was, if you want a picture of the future, Imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. And I am not in any way, shape, or form thoroughly convinced my opponent truly understands that and how to deal with this scenario that we're dealing with in America today. And uh, I know for a fact that I've got the track record and, and that I do understand that. And if you share my concerns, I encourage you to vote for me. If uh, for some reason you cannot bring your vote to me, I would encourage you to vote for NOTA. That's all I have to say. Thank you.